Breaking news out of Arizona State, Herm Edwards is out as head coach of the Sun Devils just three games in to his fifth season with the team. Our own Chris Cartman of SunDevilSource.com was the first to break the news and joining me now to explain the situation a bit further is our own Chris Hummer. And Chris, a portion of this ASU fan base was always calling for Herm's job since he stepped foot on campus back in 2018. Now you have the loss to Eastern Michigan. That's the kind of game that kind of gives those fans permission to say, hey, I told you so, but at least from the administration si side, why is now the right time to move on? Now is a great question. I think the right time to move on was probably this off season. Um, Arizona State's been under NCAA investigations for recruiting violations committed during uh, COVID-19 in 2020. It's largely expected Arizona State's going to get hit pretty hard because of that. Most of the staff members on Herm Edwards' staff from that time were fired or let go. Um, so Herm sticking around um, is a bit of a surprise and it's probably due to his relationship with his athletic director, who also happens to be his former agent. So that that mattered. But when you lose to Eastern Michigan, I think it just tells you all you need to know about the what direction Arizona State's heading. We're in a different cycle for coaches now. You have to get started earlier if you're an athletic director, if you're Ray Anderson or the Arizona State administration, because the transfer portal is a thing. You also have to worry about the early signing period. That's why you're seeing coaches like Herm Edwards, coaches like Scott Frost being let go as early as September. It allows you to pull the Band-Aid off and plan for your next step. Well, you mentioned the recruiting violations that happened in 2020. Now we might be looking at conference realignment for the Pac-12. How valuable is this position for the next coach on the way? It's an interesting job. On paper, Arizona State's a very good Pac-12 job. The recruiting grounds of Arizona are super fertile. You can pull from both Arizona, the mountain regions, and like Utah, where there's a lot of prospects, and also, obviously, California and Los Angeles. Herm Edwards had a ton of success early in his tenure recruiting out of Los Angeles. He landed guys like Jaden Daniels and a ton of other four-star recruits. Obviously with the NCAA violations and the coaching changes that happened there, a lot of those guys ended up transferring. But we've seen that that is a place you can both recruit and win from earlier in this decade. So Arizona State's a good job on paper. There are just questions about Arizona State's future in the Pac-12 and also the Pac-12's future with realignment swirling around. And there's also the question of what the NCAA is going to hand down to Arizona State in terms of penalties. But this is still a very good job. I think you're going to have a lot of attractive candidates if you're Arizona State. And by firing Herm Edwards now, you allow the administration to work through the hiring period and have plenty of time to make their next uh, hire. Tough times ahead for ASU. Three ranked teams, and now you got a coaching search. All right, Chris, thanks for your time. And for more updates on this developing story, follow along at sundevilsource.com. And for all your college football news, check out 247sports.com. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.